I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm learning how to fix an alternator. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep going, right? <laughs> One of the best things about van life is learning to be self-sufficient. What am I doing here? <laughs> but sometimes things don't go as planned. We got rations for two weeks. We're Chico and Moritz, and this is our self-converted camper van so we can live life on our own terms. Subscribe and join our journey today. What do you got there? Got you a present. Oh, birthday present. I got you an alternator. Oh. 145 amps, whatever that means. Well, that means we have more juice now. Does well, it? <laughs> hopefully we have uh, no more squealing under the hood. Well, aren't I the best? Yeah. The best girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Buying you alternators. This is like adult Lego. It is, yes. It's like Christmas presents <laughs> for you. The weather is finally good enough that I can tackle the broken alternator. This time it is the alternator. So we got a new one from Riley's. So it's a remanufactured one. I don't know if people say it's bad, but we got a lifetime warranty on it. So I think it's going to be fine. It's a 140 amp version this time. Currently there's only 105 amp in there. So we'll have a little bit more juice. Uh, let's see how the install goes, if I'm gonna get swearing a lot or not. First things first, disconnect the battery. I love that this vehicle is so old you don't need to worry about like a memory plug or anything. There's nothing to memorize except for maybe fuel economy. Got a few screws here. I have to probably loosen that one. Then I can take it out. And then we'll see from there. Now we can get the alternator loose. New one, old one. You hear that? Sounds really rough. Where's this one? Don't hear anything. So this needs to go under this wheel. Yes. And in order to do so, I Release the tension from the belt tension. Ready? What? Ready for what? <laughs> well, this needs to go under this thing. Oh, so you need me to... You, I need you to pull it under there, yeah. Okay. I'm not ready. No. No. No, we can't. I need two more centimeters. It doesn't tell you this parts where it doesn't work. It went so smooth until it didn't. And now look at this. I'm completely covered. Tomorrow I have to do it all reverse, which is the worst. As you saw, we tried and we lost. <laughs> we were conquered. Some people get stranded by, I don't know, bad weather or a mechanical breakdown. We strand ourselves. <laughs> we rip everything apart 
make it not work anymore. <laughs> it looked very easy. Everything should have fit. Yeah. Like according to everything that you researched, everything should have fit. No. But now we know we have to get a longer belt, which was not apparent. The guy that sold it to us didn't know it was a thing. It fits on some vehicles and it doesn't fit on some other vehicles. I don't know. I don't know. So I'll take half of the fault for it because maybe I put out bad energy into this universe by saying, oh, what if? <laughs> this is why we work in Home Depot parking lots and in random parking lots because if we don't have the right part, we're not stranded. <laughs> we can go inside the store, buy the part, go back outside, do the work, and then get the <laughs> out of there. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty nice place to be stranded. I think so. <laughs> we got rations for two weeks. Probably if we really want to stretch it. What can we do? What can we do? We did our best. We did our best today. That's enough snacks? I think it's too many snacks. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> no, not really. Maybe take it. <laughs> Which part? All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, YouTube! Wow, look at this crazy, beautiful weather. Yeah, this, this we've been looking for. This <laughs> is the dream. This is actually living the van life dream. We've been boondocking here at Six Rivers National Forest for the past couple of days, and it's been really quiet. We are allowed to boondock here for like 14 days for free, which is great. And that's the van life that we've been looking Look for. Look at that view we got here. So not only can we stay here for free, there's also rock climbing in the vicinity. Land of the Lost. It is the closest outdoor climbing area to Arcata, California. The only downside is the road that actually leads really close to the climbing is closed for the winter to prevent spread of some yeah, root disease for the trees. So we have to hike in for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so we'll be there, we'll do some climbing, and yeah, it's gonna be a crazy fun day. Wow, look at this spot. Could have just driven down had the road not been closed and parked with this as our view. Can't have it all. Wow. All right, so we'll get, I guess we'll leave like a little short bit here in case any of you are trying to get to Land of the Lost. You take an upper trail, leads you to here. And it's actually pretty obvious. There are logs all over the place and uh, you just, Follow the very well marked path to get down to the climbing area. Wow, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite feelings is sweating. I know that sounds so gross, but it means I'm outside, we're inside, working out a little, having fun, and it's like 22 degrees today. 22 degrees Celsius. In December. In December. Well, that's not a treat we get in Canada at all. No, <laughs> not at all. Oh. We haven't climbed in over two months. Two months, I think, yeah. That's the problem with British Columbia. I know we whined about British Columbia, but when it's raining nonstop, we couldn't climb. We could go outside for hikes, which was great, and it was beautiful when it was raining. We couldn't fix any of the things we wanted to fix because... It was raining. <laughs> because if we undid the skylight, then we'd just flood. Oh. <laughs> but wow. I think there's more. 
Yeah, that should be the rock in the back there. We should go. Hurry. Go, 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 go. I just like love being outside because I get to touch like bark and trees on a regular basis. When I was growing up, I thought that bark was dirty. Like you shouldn't touch it. And like now I know how important it is to like constantly be literally in touch with nature. And I don't know, in our old lives, Moritz, the closest thing to touching nature every day was maybe like the green onion that we'd be chopping for our sandwiches. So this is like a whole 180 and I love it. You're up now. was super fun that was a great first climb after like two months of no climbing and there are succulents here it's crazy those are totally succulents aren't they look at this view from up top whoa buddy check okay good and locked in the overhang section Ooh, next to a giant hole! Wow! There's a hole in the rock. There's a hole in the rock! All right, well, we're all packed up and we're just gonna head back to the camper now. It's about an hour hike back. It's gonna be beautiful, sun's starting to set. Yeah. So yeah. So happy about the sun. I think tomorrow we can tackle the alternator and get that off our list. And then we are good to travel again. Yay, all righty, <laughs> okay. Forgot how steep the hike up was. <laughs> Breathing pretty hard here. <sighs> what do you love more, Alpine Glow? Or Van Glow. <laughs> Van Glow. <laughs> but also, I really like blue wine. What? Blue wine. Blue wine. Mm. Oh, we, we should, should make, make some, some of that. A rare occasion where we can open our back because it's warm and sunny. I was wondering if we could use one of the service calls, kind of like if AA were to like deliver a battery or something. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't, the only thing we can deliver is just batteries though and uh, gas. Um, and without anything like mechanically, we wouldn't be able to deliver. Our drivers just wouldn't have that capabilities. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried. We tried. Uh, we tried. So. That would have been the best case scenario. But now we go to the second case scenario. <laughs> well, it is, it is a big challenge downhill. We are at 1400 meters and the store is at 170 or 180 meters. So you do a thousand meter bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff it back in. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Not excited about that one. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where's the sun gone to? There's too many clouds. That sucks. Yeah. Can you tell everyone what happened this morning? Well, we we're flat out of battery again. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna admit that the reason why our battery died was because our Krabby Crabby, I think that's how you pronounce it. One of our viewers recommended that we watch Expanse on Amazon. And of course we ended up binging like three episodes last night and that crushed through so much energy, but totally worth it. If you like Dune, also watch Expanse. Thank you so much, Crabby, or Crabby. The Expanse. The Expanse <laughs> for the recommendation. We had a ton of fun watching it last night. <laughs> Well, I'm not fit enough for a 5,000 meter bike climb. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess I'll just whip in the old alternator and eventually we're gonna drive to town, pick up a new belt, and then 
redo the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All good. It charges. Yay! Oh, well, at least we're not stuck anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading back to the coast to pick up the serpentine belt. But as you can see, the weather was so much nicer up top of the mountain. And down here is just like a thick, thick layer of fog and cloud. Alrighty, that should be it. New day, new parts, second attempt. This time we should get it done. Well, we got the belt on. What's your disclaimer here? I told many occasions I'm not a car guy. Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Look at that. Got a new alternator. On uh, your back in business. Great success. <laughs> and I'm dirty, so let's clean that up and then we rolled on. And that wraps up another episode. We learned so much doing all of the alternator work and it's so funny because being on van life, it's like constantly testing our relationship with, with each other and like how much, I guess, I trust you to <laughs> make things was work. was actually a, a bit weird when we slept that night with our engine half taken apart. Well, like. <laughs> I was worried that like, I don't know, a coyote might have yeah. like crawled under and been like, oh, what's this and taken it, but it's, it's pretty heavy. If you've yeah. held an alternator before, they're like 20 pounds each. Still, like, <laughs> we could not move until that thing was slapped back in. Oh, thank you for doing this. Yes. I appreciate it. And I guess our next episode is already our Christmas episode. So, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> you it's gonna be, be excited. so much fun. All right. All right. See you on the road to pictures. We'll see you next time. Bye. Problems will be solved and life will be great and this crazy lady is waving around a knife. I think you're scaring them. Oh. <laughs> Every time I do car stuff, it goes until one particular moment and then I get stalled. And nothing goes anymore.